hello guys welcome back to my channel i wasn't able to cover the tropical storm anna because i was busy but tropical storm anna became a 45 mile per hour tropical storm and but it did not threaten land it sifted away from bermuda but it did trigger a tropical storm what's there today we'll be talking about the areas of interest in the eastern pacific ocean and also touch up a little bit on some atlantic areas to watch but there are, as you can see here there are two disturbances with low chances of developing but they usually start out low before the the chances increase afterwards for the for, for the second disturbance you can see that the second disturbance has a 20 percent chance in five days while the first one has a 30 percent chance reason being is that this first one is expected later this week and the second one is expected early next week so that is why the nhc are more confident in the first one than they are with the second but anyway we are going to delve into both of the disturbances today all right so on the screen you can see what is hap what the conditions six hours out from now monitor the forecast hour period just above the image so this is six hours from now you can you can kind of see the little area of yellow yellow which shows five more than five inches of rainfall in a six hour period but as you go on we go on when it reaches to 90 hours out you can see the the second the second area of disturbance forming a low pressure area already and and the time of this is may 29 which is which is which would be later this week and not early next week but as we go on you see that it the all of this comes and forms into one low pressure system this is the 12z gfs and it forms into one low pressure system of 1001 millibars but as we go on you can see that the first storm does not develop later this week on the D gfs as the NHC was saying the first one will develop later this week, but 12Z GFS, so the, the first one, the one ahead of it, developing at May 31st, but at this time, the, the second area of disturbance is already a 987 millibar system, while well, this, this one would be closer to a hurricane at this period, and then after after this this one strengthens and you know the stronger the a storm this the, the more north it will move and this moves and then and end up coming very close to the mexico mexico coast before dissipating just on just just upon landfall but this is the worst case scenario for it now we're going to look at the the better case scenario it's 78 hours out and you see both of them developing at the same time but the peak of this is 985 millibars and you can see the 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 high rain totals around the center of this storm but this time this storm ends up going harmlessly away from the mexico coast and that is what we expect so i have highlighted the worst case scenario and the best case scenario but now but now let's look at the ecmwf probabilities for this turn to farm okay so you can see that that this that this the first term has an 85 percent chance on the ecmwf as you can see the contour lines it shows 80 just around it so in the center it would have 85 so both areas the ecmwf gives an 85 percent chance but the real question is the one that forms first is expected to inhibit the other one but because of the outflow of this of storms the one that forms first will cause wind shear upon the other one so the one that forms first will be the stronger one most likely all right so that's it for the eastern pacific and now i'm going to show you an uh, area of interest that i'm watching 
in the Atlantic. So, and the G GFS ensemble members, that is the GEFs, you can see bright coloring on the GEFs in the Central Caribbean. And you can even see some small numbers between Haiti and Jamaica, right through Jamaica Channel. And you, you can, the lighter colors show lower pressure and lower pressure is indicative of tropical storms. And it, do, it doesn't have to be, it can also be a cold front, but cold fronts aren't expected at this time of year. It's June the 7th. So we're not expecting cold fronts around that time to enter the Caribbean. And also, also on the GFS, you can see that the GFS itself shows the moisture developing, but it's, it's also just three, it's also 330 hours out. So it's just something for us to watch. Nothing testing stone as yet, but we, we've seen increased, increased numbers of rainfall in this area as you can if i'm to zoom up now you can see some red colors near the clayman islands look at our scale and red is red would be equal to between 8 to 10 inches of rain in and that's just in a six hour period of time so that 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 would be a very a very a much flood stretch for the the cayman islands but now we're going to look at the 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 weather the weather nerds nerd site and see what it's saying about the Eastern Pacific storm. So these are the ECNS models model support. ECNS model support. You can see that very little very little ECNS model support bring this storm close to Mexico. So Mex Mexicans, that was just the, the, the worst case scenario that, that it isn't expected to be a threat to Mexico, but, but it's just outline. I was just outlining the possibilities. So you can see that there are, uh, there are two storms. There are two storms predicted to form one in the, this area right here and the other in this area right here. But you can see more of the darker colors in this area right here. So ECENS model support are expecting the the one the first one to be the strongest. And looking at the CFS weekly model in the Atlantic, the CFS weekly model also supports the idea that at 336 hours out, it's going to there are going to be a lot of rain in the Cayman Islands area and we cannot the, the, the only cause of that could be a tropical cyclone or a, it could be, that could form from a Central American gyre you move from here where it's very dry to here that is that is not normal for the Atlantic so that that could be that this could be signs of an up, upcoming cyclone but it would be very it would it would be it, it would be very, a very, very quick fire start to the Atlantic hurricane season to have two storms, two storms in, in, that would be very, very, very fast for the Atlantic. And that, that would be, give a lot of rainfall, but it's also defend, dependent on other factors such as wind shear, humidity, and, and the sea surface temperatures. And so we cannot predict that far, but as of now that is what the model saw so there is a chance be sure to subscribe like and share and peace